Hello, welcome to the final session of this line of printing course. Today we're going to be looking at printing with multiple blocks. In this session we'll be looking at two ways of using multiple blocks to, to print. Um, the first method I think is very nicely illustrated by this first attempt by a student at this technique where we have a, a, a straightforward black and white print but we use another block to print color into the background that's the technique we're going to try first so here are my two blocks this block here is going to be my foreground and then this block here is going to give me my background colors so let's get cutting what i've marked in black is what i've got to leave which makes it a little bit harder uh, I've got to take out all these fiddly bits uh, in between the branches so just like when we did this in the first session with the leaf I'm going to start by cutting around with a knife and then I'm going to scoop out from there So here are the two parts of this multiple block print. Notice that I very carefully cut around um, the branches because I want to get all that detail, but I, I actually chopped this whole section out, which saved me having to, to gouge out every single little bit. And on this one, I've simply taken a scalpel, cut it into several pieces. So I'm going to show, first of all, do a test print on this one to show you what this one will be like um, printed up. I just mentioned you'll notice the border there. The reason for that is so that when I roll across, I try not to catch the little marks left behind too much um, by the cutting tool. It gives me a little bit of a ridge to just roll the roller along. So this is what my um, silhouette there looks like, just printed on its own. And here I've inked up the, um, the background layer and put the pieces together. Notice that this one, I haven't put any colour on at all, I'm going to leave that clear, but I'm still using it as a spacer to help me get this to fit in correctly. So I'm going to burnish that and we'll see the results. Carefully peel that up. So there we have my background, and now I'm going to re ink the plate for um, the foreground and print it over the top. It's important to remember which was the top so you don't get this upside down. So my piece of paper that is printed on goes in there. and I carefully burnish. So you can see the difference that have adding the colour in the background makes. We're now going to look at a different way of using two blocks where the background and the foreground both have an image. These two student examples show what you can achieve by having two different images, a background one which is paler and then a, a foreground one which is darker. Um, lovely use of colour and blending in these and also additional little stamps to add extra colour. So a stamp for the breast here, here just using cotton buds to add dots of colour for the berries. 
So this second print, I'm going to stick with the same foreground, but I'm going to cut out a more complicated background. Uh, notice that this is quite geometric, so I'm going to do a fair amount of cutting initially um, by scoring with a knife. And it's the light areas that I'm taking away. Here's my background layer. I'm now going to ink it up and print it. So here's my background layer and now to print my foreground over the top. Carefully registering it. And burnishing it. And there's my print. Um, I would recommend always letting the layers dry thoroughly before you print over the top. So I've got a little bit of texture there that was unwanted um, because the, the bottom layer was still a little bit wet, so they're sticking together. So that's the end of this short course. There's going to be a slideshow showing students work doing uh, multiple block prints in a moment, uh, followed by some information about giving feedback on the course. This is very important so that we can show our funders that their money has been well spent. So please, if you've enjoyed the course, do fill in the feedback form. Bye-bye.